Hello and welcome to Azmaster Circle. Um, today you're gonna see the newest updated uh, version of Bulk File Creator, where you can easily create multiple campaigns. Um, you can set up single keyword campaign or multiple keyword campaign. I uh, will show you all the improvements that. Uh, were made in the file and this should make your life even easier so let's go on to the file and see what the changes are so first of all the newest file is the combined files we, uh, before we used to use two separate files and i thought this is inconvenient that's why i combined two files so in the bottom you can see five tabs at the moment and I indicate it with icons which are connected to each other meaning this input uh, tab is connected to this uh, SP creator and um, this input tab with like shuffle arrow is connected to um, this file uh, the icons are kind of self-explanatory where you can see the icon with one it means it will create one keyword or one asin per campaign and the shuffle means you can put in multiple keywords in one campaign so this is the biggest update that i've done so far and let's go through it first one is how to download the file meaning before we had to delete the tabs and then bring them back. This was annoying. At the moment, you can either use, you go to the tab that which you want to download and there's a script download here and it will say only this sheet into your Google Drive. And if you have a Google Drive synced to your computer, it will automatically show on your co uh, computer hard drive so this, this is one way to go another way to go is once you've done creating you have instructions uh, over here meaning in the url here you have to find this part edit um, hash grid equals and replace it with export uh, blah 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 and grid so what it does copy this let's go to the tab which we want to download because this will download only one tab of out of your file and here uh, maybe i need to move it a bit lower right so now you can see the path so here in um, url you highlight this and simply delete and paste and hit enter and what it does uh, oh. okay and now downloaded i must have selected something so as you can see now it downloaded uh, only this tab as a file so let's get back to other features. So downloaded is uh, made easier right now. Uh, so let's get back to the one keyword per campaign or one ASIN and what I mean by that, um, I'll explain a bit later. Right now I will explain coloring. Every yellow cell has to be filled in. It cannot be left blank like here is it blank. You cannot leave it blank besides bid if if you will leave bid blank here it will take the default bid on your ad group level but i made the coloring interactive meaning um if you have manual campaign you have to fill in every uh, so let's put here keyword one and match type let's say exact so now our creator has created uh, the campaign. If you miss any crucial part, it will not create a campaign. So if you cannot see uh, anything in the creator, it means 
you miss something here, uh, I try to make it uh, error proof as far as po as much as possible. And now, if you select a manual, you can see that these fields are turned blue. This means you can fill them and it will work. If it stays white like it is here, it means it, even if you put anything here, let's say async free, it doesn't matter, it won't create anything. So you can go here and you see no changes at all. So right now, if I change this to auto, as you can see, now you don't need any keyword. It's it turned black, white, so it means it won't take any data from here. It only it pulls data from here. So ASIN2, and we have to select ASIN. And now what Creator did, it will create uh, multiple campaigns, outer campaigns with ASINs only. So you can create either manual campaign using one ASIN and multiple keywords. So keyword two. And again, exact. So it will create two manual campaigns, one keyword in each campaign. Or you can create out a campaign where you have multiple uh, ASINs and this makes your life easier towards making multiple single ASIN out of campaigns. Unfortunately, it would be too much crossover to make it. Um, manual campaign with mul uh, multiple keywords here, meaning one uh, keyword per ASIN and multiple ASINs. So if you have like a list of ASINs which share the same keyword group, let's say St. Patrick's Day, then you have to create uh, campaigns for one ASIN, then paste uh, ASIN2 here. It would be really handy if it would populate all the uh, mix and match, but it was, I admitted it was too difficult for me to create it. So let's see how it, it will work in example. So let's say, Saint let's call this campaign Saint, Pat, uh, Saint Patty Day rank. And, mm, Another improvement, because right now, as you can see, keyword one exact, keyword two exact, we have no issue. But what if we want to do something like um, this? Keyword one, keyword one, and this one to be phrase, and this one to be broad. Uh, let's pretend 35. Uh, oops. Right. The issue is that when we make this construction, we want to negative exact here and negative phrase here, just to force Amazon to find different keywords in each campaign and don't overlap. At the moment, uh, you can get exact match for keyword one uh, in a broad match campaign, in a phrase match campaign. Uh, so to prevent that, what you can do here is next negative exact. So you will create uh, targeting for this keyword phrase. And at the same time, it will create negative exact match here and negative phrase here. So have a look at this. First campaign is exact. So no issues with that. A second campaign is phrase with negative exact. We can see it here, negative exact keyword. This was, will force uh, Amazon to find only the phrases of keyword one, uh, excluding keyword one itself. And this one, it will force to find only the broad matches, excluding exact and phrase matches. So this additional column negative is exactly for that purpose. So we could 
replicate that and do it for keyword two. So now you can see we have created a six campaigns, one keyword for, uh, sorry, three campaigns for each keyword, meaning uh, exact phrase and broad with uh, negative respective keyword. So yeah, this is the big improvement and you can use up to 50 keywords at once. Let's go to auto. And as I said, it's self-explanatory. When it's white, it will not populate here anything. So now we can have as in one. We've gone through the um, one keyword campaign creator. And as I said, right now we would have to go here, copy this, go to sponsored product campaigns and control shv, uh, shift V or option, uh, sorry, command shift V to paste it as a unformatted. And if you want to download it, we go here and replace the URL and it will download it or we can just save to Google Drive and it will save the uh, on file with only this sheet without these four creator tabs. If you have Google Drive and if you have uh, syncing to your hard drive, it will sync automatically. So let's go to the multiple creator similar thing you can put select auto or manual and here we can have multiple keywords and multiple asins in one campaign so when you have it set up on auto you can create lottery campaign Async free, let's select async. And if you go to creator, you can see uh, this is the campaign. And over here, you have only one async. But when you scroll down below the yellow part of the creator, you can see that you have the rest of the asins for your uh, lottery campaign. Why it's sorted like that? Why we have this yellow gap? Because this is uh, for manual campaigns. And when you create a file for upload to bulk operations, it doesn't matter that you have uh, that many empty fields. Of course, you could do just copy these rows and paste them here. And then scroll down a bit. And do it like here. Or simply, you could do just select everything and paste it in this form. And it doesn't matter that you have such a big gap. It won't matter at all. So it's up to you. And now the manual. With manual, you can put as many keywords as you want and as many asins. This means you can create a lottery campaign, but with keywords targeting. So you create manual targeting using keywords and then you put in as many asins as you want. And I believe that I've done, yeah, you can put something like 100 asins and 50 keywords. So in this instance, as you can see, we have our a normal construction with multiple keywords, but as well, you can add multiple ASINs into your campaign. And this is the improvement that you can mix and match over here. And again, it shows you which fields are active. So meaning uh, when you have manual, you have to put um, at least one ASIN and you have to put at least one keyword. Um, you can put more ASINs and more keywords because it's highlighted blue. When you have auto, this keyword part is inactive. And even if you put something here, 
the creator won't read it it will read only uh, the highlighted async part um, I hope that uh, these files help you a lot in creating campaigns this helped me a lot uh, so it saves tremendous time in creating because creating campaigns shouldn't take you much time you should spend that time on managing ads managing reads looking into your strategy what should you do next and the creation of the campaign uh, using these files is really really easy uh, now you can focus on uh, doing research for keywords and selecting them keywords uh, then you can look into what works for you and what not and do the bid adjustment in bulk operations as well um yeah enjoy